Hey everybody, welcome to Wait on Wheels. Today I'm going to just wash my bike up. It's looking pretty dirty. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour of what my bike even looks like since this is a new channel. This is the first time you're even gonna see it. So I'll give you a little bit of a tour and what I'm actually going on. All right, well, the bike's all cleaned up. It's an Uramax Sport windscreen. Got it from Revzilla. It's just a touring screen. That's dark smoke. Um, I added this beak. I just added it personally. It's a, it's a personal preference. It's growing, I like it. I do like it. It made it from a bug to a bird. The front tire fender is carbon fiber. Fully carbon fiber from Bastine USA. Make high quality carbon fiber, highly recommended. Um, going up to, I have, these are the original mirrors. This is just a piece. As you see, it's just a piece that I put on. And we have the hand guards. These are Bark Buster hand guards. Um, Goldie short hand levers. Collection brake, short levers. I have an Atlas throttle lock. It's kind of really nice. You can twist it, hit the button, holds it. Very great feature. Crash guards on it. These are relatively new um, because I have dropped it once. Actually, I didn't even drop it. It was hit in a parking lot on the side stand and it fell over. So. As you can see here, got a little scuff. So if I would have had these on originally, I wouldn't have had that problem. Moving over to here, I have a carbon fiber clutch cover. So I did this myself, I hydro dipped it myself. Didn't quite come out the color I wanted, but is what it is. I'll buy one eventually. Um, I have the rear splitter, rear tire guard that is carbon fiber as well. The FJ09 custom logo that I had a friend of mine put on of the hard cases. These are removable stock hard cases that are lockable and waterproof. I have Garmin Zumo XT mount. I have, this is my GoPro mount for my 
handlebar vlog. I have handlebar risers for performance. They basically give it a spacer for an inch up and over. It's like an inch and a an seven eighths, I believe. Full Graves titanium exhaust. Hydro dip coolant overflow. Corbin seat. I also have a rear that goes in here. And sits on there. It's like that. So, my thoughts on the FJ. It's a great bike. It's comfortable. I have made a lot of modifications to it, but those are something you normally do with a bike. So, let's be real. It's as fast as a sport bike. It's all I really need. A 900cc triple is an amazing motor. The power level is always there. That torque range that you're in is like beautiful. The whole time is money. You always have torque everywhere you want it. Anybody who has an FZ09 totally understands what I'm talking about. It's just that Yamaha power. Not much that can be said for this triple. A CP3 motor is the heart of this beast and it shows. It just allows you the FJ riding style or riding rider's triangle just gives you so much more comfortability for long hauls. This tall windscreen basically buffers right at the top of my head. So, and it's adjustable. This thing is super agile. It is very confidence inspiring. This is a great bike. This is my second bike. It was my first motorcycle that I purchased brand new. So this was a 2015 I purchased in 2015. Since then, I have bought two other motorcycles. I have next to me, I have a Honda Grom. That's a whole nother video. And I have a Yamaha Zuma. That's another video as well. Those are two things that I just zip around on, but video for another day, right? The Corbin seat definitely added. The stock seat is trash. So I actually have it right here. Wait. This thing is thin. Look at that. It's thick. You're talking the Corbin seat, thick. I did a dyno jet flash. So stock, this thing is very torquey. It's a lot of fun and it has a ton of engine braking. After the dyno jet flash, it is very mellow. It's more rideable. So therefore most people probably would enjoy that. But you can switch it to A mode and A mode does have that a little more aggressive stance. So there's always that. I typically ride in standard mode because I just think you should just ride in standard mode because that's what it's made for. I don't know, it's standard. I'm feeling like having a lot of fun. I will turn off traction control, switch it to A mode, and this thing's a whole nother animal. It literally feels like it wants to do wheelies all the time. So you can have bags, go on trips, do wheelies, go off road because I put better tires on this thing. I don't really know there's anything that I can't do on this bike. So basically the best part about the FJ09 is it may not be the best at anything. I'm not gonna be, it's not the fastest bike in the world. It isn't the most comfortable bike in the world. It's not the best for long hauls. It's not the best for off road, but it can do all of those things really, really well. This is a bike that you can literally do anything you want and have all the power you want. You have an FZ09 or an MT09 motor. Easy riding position, threw some crash bars on it. One thing you will want to do if you are an FJ09 owner, replace the handguards. The stock handguards are dangerous. Once you get going over 80, 90 miles an hour, it lifts, the, it acts like a wing. It lifts the front end, gives it some wobble, very scary. You don't want that. Replace the handguards. Get these Barkbuster handguards have been amazing. You get those Barkbuster handguards, cha game changer. No speed wobbles. I can go 120 miles an hour, 130 miles an hour. You shouldn't. Don't do those things. But if you happen to find yourself at those speeds, this bike is not wobbling. It is actually planted and stable. Obviously, it's not sport bike planted because that's literally what they're designed to do. Sport bikes are designed to go fast. The FJ09, not designed to go fast. Designed to be an amazing bike all over the place. Everywhere. It's a great bike. I love it. I enjoy it. 
So those are my thoughts on the FJ09. It is, I'll have other videos of me actually riding it and you'll see how it actually performs. This, I was just cleaning it and kind of giving it a rundown. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I will be doing more videos, mostly just adventure style videos. I'll be doing camping. I play a lot of paintball, so I'll be taking my motorcycle to play paintball, play disc golf. I like to travel, like my upcoming, I have a four day trip that is over 1300 miles that I'm going to be taking a trip down to Ohio, Zanesville, Ohio to go camping. And then over from Zanesville to Pittsburgh, then Pittsburgh to central Pennsylvania, central Pennsylvania back to Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh back home. So stay tuned, all of those videos will come up. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy making them. See you next time. Out.